Hi folks, Shell Buzzy, and welcome to my Ask Shell Coffee Break. The topic today is about insulating or purchasing those IC rated pot lights that go into a lot of remodel projects today. No matter if it's a kitchen, a bathroom, a bedroom, or a large open great room, pot lights are becoming very, very popular. And especially in areas where there may be vaults involved, meaning that you don't really have a flat ceiling, but you got a vaulted ceiling. So when you're dealing with pot lights and the installation of pot lights, you always want to make sure when in doubt, don't pout, let Shell help you out because you should be using IC rated pot lights. That way you don't have to worry about if they're done correctly or uh, you've got the full instructions right on the packaging. Some people will think about uh, using the plastic covers. Well, you got to make certain that those plastic covers are over top of an IC rated unit because the plastic covers are for air sealing, not for the purpose of energy generating hot bulbs, be it halogen or incandescent or whatever type of bulb you may have. It's very, very important that pot lights are something that are rated and rated properly. And also, when in doubt, always get an electric permit, electrical permit, or have an electrician do the job. And uh, he or she will definitely do the job properly, making sure that it is within the code. Now, pot lights today are uh, uh, available in uh, halogen. They're available in compact fluorescent. They're in, uh, available in incandescent. Uh, all of these different types of uh, pot lights are available. But first and foremost, always ensure that you got adequate lighting, adequate wattage, because you will nine and a half times out of 10 want to uh, control this lighting by using a dimmer switch, because dimmer switches will give you the ambient uh, light that you require for whatever the occasion may be. Also, when buying a dimmer switch, you want to make certain that the dimmer switch is adequate for the total wattage of the lighting that you have in the form of pot lights. Very important to always add that up and make sure that you do have the adequate, uh, um, the, the, the actual timer is if it's a timer, but also a dimmer if it's a dimmer. Because if you don't, you're going to have static on your radio. You're going to have uh, uh, flipping and flopping on your TV set. So always make sure that you do have the adequate wattage that is going to be required for those lights. Now, when installing lights, some people will suggest that uh, you want to use uh, uh, the likes of, uh, well, let's say compact fluorescent rather than uh, uh, halogen. Well, you want to ask the question, why? Because a spotlight versus that of long and uh, short uh, distances for the light, it's very important to talk to the professionals. So when you're in a electrical lighting store, always ask for the professional to get the, uh, the proper light for, for example, if you're up on a vault in a, in a, uh, a living area or a great room area, if it's going to be shining down on a, a pool table or down on an area where you're going to be uh, uh, reading uh, the newspaper, you want to have that long range halogen ability uh, to uh, turn up or turn down if you want more ambient uh, uh, type of environment. So lighting is very, very important. So always check first before you purchase because just buying a pot light doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be adequate for what it is you're doing. So folks, make it just that easy. Just follow the process and make certain that you do use an IC rated uh, electrical uh, pot light uh, installation. It's just that easy, folks.